in English, but sometimes I will uh, use Bahasa Malaysia as well. And if you have any question, you can interrupt me or us through chatting. Okay, or at the end of the session, there will be question and answer. Okay, let me proceed the session with uh, my sharing screen. Hold on for a second. Okay, as we all know, the objective of this session is to expose to you on what is citation, especially on APA citation, okay, American Psychological Association citation style. Okay, with this knowledge, hopefully you can apply it in your writing, your thesis, your dissertation, or any your academic writing. And for postgraduate, you can apply this knowledge when you are using a reference citation tools such as Mendeley or EndNote. Okay, because if you don't have this APA citation knowledge, it is quite difficult for you to use that citation tools. Okay. Okay, the scope of the session today is first on getting and citing your resources pathway. Okay, I will elaborate more after this. Then we want to know why we need to cite and do referencing. And then uh, what is citation referencing? Okay, what is in-text citation? And then how to cite, okay, based on various format. And then what is referencing? Okay, after we have done citation, we ha also have to do referencing at the end of the academic of our writing. Okay, so we will learn that. And then I will give you some additional notes on citation and referencing. And also we will do together some exercise. Okay, again, if you have any question, you can interrupt me or ask uh, through chatting, but I will not, cannot see through chatting, but maybe Miss Susie will interrupt me if you have any question on uh, the chatting, okay, through chatting. Okay, anda juga boleh bertanya dalam bahasa Malaysia lah kalau tak familiar. Okay, okay, first getting and citing your resources pathway. Okay, beside you have to follow the research methodology, you have to do literature review, research format, you also have to follow one pathway that is called getting and citing your resources. Okay, in this pathway, there are three steps you have to follow step by step. The first step is retrieving your sources, okay, getting your sources, getting your journal, book, okay, maybe from internet, okay, from the website, okay, you have to retrieve all that information. Okay, this you will be know or you have know it through the library, okay, last month and from OEMGC, uh, we also have organized how to use the library, how to get resources from the library. Okay, hopefully you have learned and have the skill to get the, the resources, okay, to get the reliable resources, recent resources. Okay, after that, the second step in this pathway is to understand how to cite the resources. This is today's session, okay. You should know how to cite session, uh, to cite citation, uh, to cite your sources, okay. There is a format you can, you have to follow. Okay, after you know, you understand how to cite, you can use that knowledge in citing your sources using your reference management tools such as Mendeley, uh, EndNote, etc. Okay, if you don't have, uh, as I said before, if you don't have knowledge to cite, okay, it is quite difficult to you to use this reference management tools. Okay, it, okay it's quite difficult, but it can. Uh, and we at OUMGC recommend you, highly recommend you to follow the step, okay? Before you doing your reference management tools, it is better for you to understand the citation, the second step, okay, APA citation, okay? For the third step, most probably uh, OUMGC will conduct it next week. Is it Miss Suzy? Is it confirmed next week? Ah uh, yes, untuk yeah. S enam hari bulan apa nama minggu depan eh? Ah uh, okay. SPSS uh. dengan Mendeley kita akan uh, buat. Ah okay, depan. SPSS Mendeley uh, next week. Okay, how to use Mendeley? Okay, okay now why we have to know citing and references? Okay, the first one is to maintain our academic integrity. Okay, we, when we are writing our academic writing, 
Okay, the difference is the uh, referencing. Okay, the citation and referencing. Okay, so we have to maintain our academic integrity. We have to do citing and referencing. Then we want to give credit to, to others' idea. Okay, if that idea is not from us, we have to give to provide the credit. Okay, we have to cite. Okay, then thirdly, it will be distinguish us from your idea with other idea. Okay, the first sentence may be not from us, from other ideas. So we put citation, bracket, the name of the author. Okay, the next sentence is the idea from us. So you don't have to put your name. Okay, that means the reader know that that sentence is from your idea. Okay, and it will distinguish you with other person idea. And then it will add your credibility to your writing, okay, your referencing, your writing based on the references at the back of the your, your writing. Okay, so it will provide credibility to your academic writing. And finally, it will allow reader to locate the source, okay, especially your uh, examiner, okay, they see at the reference at the back of the writing, and they know how to locate or you are reading a uh, journal from uh, this, this author, okay. Uh, if you are doing marketing, Kotwell, uh, Kotler, okay, Kotler. Uh, if you are doing marketing research, uh, you should read journals or writing from Kotler because he's guru in marketing. Okay, and uh, that is allow you, allow the reader to know your source. Okay, okay, okay. What is APA style? Okay, APA style is American Psychological Association, in de developed in 1929. OUM using APA style eh? for OUM and most academic institutions using APA style. Okay, then it is to ensure the academic writers in the behavioral and social sciences had a uniform procedure. Usually this APA citation style adopted uh, writers in behavioral and social sciences field. Okay. And, the, and this is the book in seven edition okay publication manual of american psychological association the latest one is seven edition published in 2020 so now all the format okay come from this uh, publication okay and this publication also is available in oem digital ib collection okay in printed format printed book okay what is apa style okay there are three areas in apa style Okay, the first area is in-text citation. Okay, I will uh, elaborate after this. The second area is reference list. Reference list at the back of our writing. Okay, at the end of our writing. Okay, in-text citation in, in our writing. Okay, in our writing. And then we have APA paper format. But in OUM, we did not follow APA paper format. Okay, so in this session, I will show you the first and second area only. Okay, because OUM are using OUM paper format itself. By itself. Okay, uh, now we go concentrate on in-text citation. Okay, in-text citation or sometimes people call it citation. Okay, it is a specific source that mentioned in text or body of the paper, of your paper. Okay, this is the example. Okay, we have... Okay, this introduction that we can see here, there are three types of interaction during online participation as put forth by more, uh, more at all. That means more is the author. Okay, at all, that means there are more than two authors. But in format APA, we only put the first author, that is more. Okay, and then bracket 2016, namely learner, learner, learner to instructor and learner to content. Okay, uh, so this idea, this learners to learners, learners to instructor and learners to content is from more idea. Okay, uh, this is called in-text citation. You put the author and then the bracket. Okay, basically this is in-text citation. But in in-text citation, there are two formats. The first format is narrative citation. We call it narrative citation. Okay, type of citation where the author's name is used within the text of the sentence. 
Okay, for example, a study by Kotler in 2019, okay, bracket 2019, argue that online purchasing behavior is increasing, for example. Okay, this is narrative citation. Okay, the name of the author in the writing itself. Only the year is in the bracket. Okay, then the second type is parenthetical citation. The name of the author and the year in the bracket. Okay, where the author and the date are in the parenthesis at the end of the sentence. Okay, the concept of purchasing behavior is increasing, especially among youth, for example. Okay, then we put bracket, the name of the author and the year of the publication. Okay, that is parenthetical citation. We can use uh, either one and sometimes in our writing we can use both. Okay, but not in one sentence. Maybe the first paragraph we are using a parenthetical. The second paragraph we get from other author, we use narrative citation. Okay, how to use it? When to use it? Uh, this depends. We are using narrative when we are highlighting the author. Okay, for example, making argument about the author and highlighting the different, different authors arguing a bit about the same topic. And for example, there are many researchers uh, argue about the importance of educa educational technology. Okay. And then we mention the name. Okay. Peter. Okay. Then bracket 2019 argue that uh, that means we highlight the author. Okay. That is narrative citation. The second part is parenthetical. Usually we use it in highlighting the information itself. Okay, making an overall point about a topic and the focus is on the argument. Okay, they not focus on the author, they focus on the argument. So usually we use parenthetical. Okay, you got the point, right? Okay, narrative, focus on the author. Parenthetical, usually focus on the topic. Okay, the content. Okay, and then we go how to cite. Okay, because one author different format, two author different format, more than two authors will be different format. Okay, for narrative, for one or two authors, we put like this, a study by Kotler and Keller, bracket 2019. Okay, we put A and D. Okay, but for parenthetical, we put bracket, bracket and ampersand form symbol. Okay, Kotler and Keller, 2019. Okay, by the way, well, the name of the author should be the surname. Okay, the surname of the author. Okay, the Kotler, Philip Kotler, but we put only Kotler. Okay, and percent, and then the second author, year and bracket. Okay, for narrative, we put A and D. Okay, for parenthetical, we put upper, upper sign symbol. Okay, that is for one or two authors. For more than two authors, that means three or more, for narrative, we put at all. That means and others. Okay, according to Kotler et al. 2018. That means the book or the journal is written by more than two authors. Okay, also parenthetical. Okay, we use put Kotler, the first author only, and then at all. 2018. Okay. Faham ya? Get it? Have any question so far? Tak ada eh? Kalau ada boleh chat. Okay. I think there's no question. Okay, I proceed. Okay, that is three or more authors. And then uh, direct quotes. Okay, sometimes we quote, we put, uh, we direct quote, we copy exactly the, the words written by the author in the book. Okay, if we are doing direct quotes, we have to put this element. Okay, elements here, author, year, and page number. Okay, we have to put the page number from where or source we copy. For example, according to Jones, 1998, Okay, we put inverted comma, 
student often have a difficulties using APA style and then bracket page 299. Okay, that's mean the source from Jones, the book or journal written in 1999 at the page of 299. Okay, this is direct quotation. Okay, we direct quotes from the source. Okay, this is narrative. Okay, because we put the name of the author in our writing itself. Okay, if we put the name of the author in the bracket, it is parenthetical format. Okay, uh, for example like this, she stated Okay, students often have a difficulty using APA style. Okay, Jones, 1999 and 1998, page number. Okay, faham ya? Okay, that is uh, direct quotes. Okay, you can use either narrative citation or parenthetical citation. For direct quotes, you have to put the page number of the source. Okay, if there is no page number, you put the paragraph. Maybe paragraph number one, number two. Okay, if you take from YouTube, from video, for example, you have to put the time, time stamp, minutes 29, for example. Okay, this when you are using direct quotes. Okay, this is parenthetical. Okay, then sometimes we do direct mm -hmm. quotes. Yes. Kejap Encik, uh, Abang Syarif ni ada Lujia. Ya, ada soalan ke Lujia dengan Judy Ngo? Ada apa-apa soalan? Is there any question that you want to ask? Boleh unmute lah. Ya, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Judy here. Yeah, Judy. Uh, I would like to ask for the citation regarding the uh, author because we key in the, we, we add the citation, we key in the, the name of the author. Sometimes the author will be uh, around four, five. So uh, the, the direct citation, the names will come up. Uh, sometimes uh, four, four author or five author. To ask this edition, how many author that we can put in the in-text citation? Uh, if there are more than three, as I said before, if more than two, okay, if more than two, we put at all. Just like this, uh, where? okay, at all three or more authors. We put the first name of the author only. Usually, in the writing, the first author is the main author, okay? So, we put the first author only and then we put at all, okay? Is it answer your question? All right, so okay. maximum even, how many even, even, author you can put in? Is it three? Maximum, uh, if there are more than three authors, you put at all and then the first author only. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, if two authors, you can put the first and second name only. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the uh, citation, you yes, if more than three, you just put the first name of the author in the citation. But in the reference at the back, you have to put all the name of the authors based on the latest edition. The maximum is 21 author. Okay, I will elaborate later. Okay, this is in citation in our writing. Okay, for more than three authors, we put the first authors and at all. Same if you are using uh, direct quotes. Okay, Jones at all. Okay, there's another other question. Okay, now. Oh yeah, I have uh, one. Sir. I want. Okay. I want to ask. Okay. Uh, some, uh, sometimes auto have the very long name, some J W mm -hmm. uh, and something one Muhammad Daud and something. So, how we want to choose one short name? Uh, okay, for West. Thank you. For Western name, we just take the surname. Okay, just before Philip Kotler, we put Kotler only. But for Malay or Asian name, we put the first name only. For example, my name, Shahril Effendi bin Ibrahim, we just put Shahril. Okay, in the in-text citation, eh? in the text. In the reference, I will elaborate after this. Boleh faham, Encik? Okay, Kalau okay. Kalau ditulis, boleh 
Raja Alias bin Raja Izudin, we put Raja Alias. Okay. Okay. Okay, then, and then direct quotes. Okay, more than 40 words. Okay, the concept is same. We put, we put in then, and then we put all the words, the direct quote, quote and then we put the page number. Okay, that, this is narrative citation. Okay, we indent one inch if more than 40 words. Okay, this is narrative because the name of the author, the kat dalam, writing itself. As argued by Batten and Woodlet, 2019, there are specific qualities that make social. Okay, this is from our own words. And this is from the author's word. Okay, more than 40 words. We put the page number. And then same, if we are making a parenthetical citation, okay, the concept is same. We just indent and then at the end of the quotes, we put the name of the author, year and page number. Okay, if these uh, words or quotes from Dua Muka Surat, page 53 and 54, then we put PP. Okay, that's mean two pages lah. More than one pages, we put P, P dot 53 until 54. That's mean we quote from this book written by this person, page 53 till 54. Okay. And then there's another type of citation that is called paraphrase. We make our own words. Just now, direct quotes. We copy exactly. Okay, and the second type is paraphrase. We make our own words based on the author's idea. Okay. We also have to put the element of author and year only. We don't have to put the page number. Okay, example, according to Jones, 1998 APA style is a difficult citation format for student. Okay, this is not written by the authors, but the idea is from the author. So we, do, we don't have to put the... Ins inverted commas, and the page number. Okay, usually we use this type of citation. Okay, paraphrase. Okay, we are not uh, encouraged to use direct quotation. Okay. Okay, this is narrative from uh, citation style. Okay, according to Jones. Same for parenthetical, when we are paraphrasing, we put the name of the author and then the year in the bracket. Okay, don't have to put the page number. And this word is our own words. The concept only from the Jones. Okay, the idea from the Jones. Okay, how about if we there is no author? Okay, we take the organization that responsible for creating, creating the info. Okay, from Tesla, for example, we put Tesla 2019. But sometimes there is no organization in the in the writing, uh, we we just take the title for the first few words. Okay, there is no author that we can determine. We don't know the organizational who produced this that article, that book. We take the title, the first few title of the book or the sources. Okay, risk management in libraries, for example, twenty twenty one. Okay, we put inverted comma. And then how about no publication? Okay, sometimes we see it ND. That's mean no dates. We cannot determine what date of the uh, source. So we put the name of the author, for example, Maureen Ho, N.D. Okay, that's mean no date. Okay, sometimes we use source within a source. Okay, we, okay, we did not uh, take directly from the source. Okay, many academic books and journal article quotes earlier books or article on the same topic. Okay, we cannot get the original book. If you cannot access the original source, you can cite the secondary source. Okay, only the source you have viewed directly, okay, that you have read, okay, quote you should quote in your reference. Okay, for example, Arnold's study of childhood obesity as cited in Smith. That means we only read Smith, book written by Smith. Okay, but in the book, Smith cakap according to annual study. But we cannot get the, uh, this annual study. So we put like this. 
Okay, annual study of childhood adversity as cited in Smith 2009 is a landmark in Lava. Okay, then at the reference, at the back of the reference, uh, at the back of our writing, we just take this detail of Smith. Okay, the tajuk buku, for example. Okay, we don't have to put annual detail in our reference. Okay. We put the secondary source only. In this case, the secondary source is Smith, written by Smith. Okay, that's all for citation or, or in-text citation. Okay, it is in the text, in the writing itself. Okay, ada soalan before I go to references? Tak ada eh? Okay, now we go to references. Sekejap okay. ya Ban Syaril, ya yeah, Nasriatul ada soalan Okay silakan uh, Ya Tuan, Assalamualaikum Waalaikumsalam Okay kalau dalam direct code uh, Macam saya, saya selalu buat dalam bahasa Malaysia uh -huh. Okay direct code tu katalah saya ambil bahasa Inggeris uh -huh. Okay lepas tu macam mana kena italic ya? Uh, tidak dinyatakan spesifik Tapi boleh italic Tak boleh italik eh? Ah, boleh italik. Ah, tapi, tapi kita masuk direct code tu bahasa Inggeris boleh lah ya? Boleh, boleh. Kena indent lah ah. macam saya tunjuk tadi. Okey, okey. Terima kasih ah. Tuan. Okey, sama. Okey, ada soalan lagi? Okay, we proceed to referencing. Okay, what is referencing? A list of source that you have cited. Ah, tadi we put Kotler, okay, Jones, Okay, at the back of our writing, under referencing, we have to put the details of Kotler. Tajuk buku or tajuk journal. Okay, Jones, tajuk journal dia apa. Okay, uh, so our reader can detect lah from Jones, uh, apa tajuk buku dia, etc. Okay, a list of sources that you have cited. So if you have cited 10 in text citation, in the reference also should be 10 sources. Okay, 10 book. Original. Okay. It is alphabetized according to the name of the author. Uh, A, B, C. Okay. I will show the example after this. Each entry in the reference list contains details information about one source. Uh, satu buku, satu detail of the source. At the end of the work, okay, referencing is at the end of the work. And it is indented half an inch after the first line and double space. And this is the example. Okay, references. Okay, Abrami. Usually we put the author name first. For APA, should be the authors. This is the surname, Abrami, comma, PC. The initial only. We just put initial only. Maybe the full name, we fill it, Cambery Abrami. But in APA citation format, in references, we put Abrami, comma, P dot C. Okay, comma, Bernard, RM. Okay, and this is more than three. We put all the name of the author. If less than 21 authors. Okay, and then year. And then the name of the source, the title of the source, and then the title of the journal. From Journal of Computing in Higher Education, the, the volume, the number, the issue, issue number, the page, and the DOI. Okay, the first and then in then, one half an inch. Okay, separuh inci on the second and after that. Okay, kita tengok nanti, lebih detail after this. Okay, the four or reference reference list citation element. Element is mean this year. Who, the name of the author should be the first mention. And then when, the tahun should be secondly mentioned. And then what, the name of the book or the name of the article should be thirdly mentioned. And then finally where, the source. For journal, the name of the journal. Okay, for book, name of publisher. Yeah, etc. We will see after this. Okay, uh, so this is the important element we have to follow. First, 
the author, the year, the what, okay, the name of the article or the name of the book and then the source. Okay, before that, uh, I want to highlight DOI. Okay, DOI is Digital Object Identifier, a unique and never changing string. Okay, URL assigned in journal, online journal, book and other work. Okay, we can see like this, use the HTTPS, okay, slash, double slash, DOI, okay, number. Okay, it's never changing. Okay, mostly on online journal or book. Okay, we see the journal format first in the reference. Okay, first, author. Okay, the surname and then the initial. Okay, for example, Lechner, comma, A. Okay, the initial. Maybe his name is Alan Lechner. But we put only Lechner, A. Okay, then, and then the year of the publication. Okay, this is the name of the article, Timing Matters. Sorry. Okay, timing matters. Then the source. And okay, the fourth element tadi. Okay, the source. In this case, the source is the name of the journal. Journal of Educational Psychology. We put it italic and then comma. Volume 62 also italic. And then there is no space. We put bracket the issue number. Issue number 5 comma the page number. And then this, the DOI. That means this article available online from this DOI. Okay. okay. You don't have to memory, to memorize. But if you understand, it's better for you. Okay. Okay, because when you are using Mendeley or EndNote, it will put automatically. Okay. Okay, for book or ebook also, the concept is same. You put the authors, the surname, and then the initial. Okay, this is the second author. Okay, comma, and percent, the third author. And then the year. Okay, in references, they, they are no at all. Okay, except if the author more than 21. Okay, if less than 21, we put just the, all the author's name. Okay, the name, uh, the year the name of the book, the title of the book in italic. Okay, we, we, we can see here the title of the book. This is a sentence case. Okay, the first only, the first, capi, the first alphabet in capital letter and then the, the colon and then the, after the colon, the capital letter M saja, yang capital letter. Okay. Mindful sport performance enhancement, mental training for athletes and coaches. The rest small letter lah. But for apa, proper noun, we have to put capital letter. For example, ada nama orang dekat sini, we put capital letter. The rest only at the first and after the colon in capital letter. Okay, then we put the publisher, American Psychological Association. Okay, previous at previous edition, sixth edition of APA style, we have to put the name of the publisher. For example, uh, McGraw Hill, Pearson. Uh, sorry, the name, the place of the publisher, location. Okay, for example, in London. Uh, dot American Psychological Association. Okay, but now since 2020, we don't have to put the location of the publisher. Okay. Cuma letakkan the name of the publisher. Okay, American Psychological Association. And then we put the DOI. Okay, for website. Okay, Chadler. The year. We put exact date. Okay, usually website. Dekat page tu, dia bagi tahu the exact date of the website. Okay. So, the, the website is written in April 9, 2020. Okay, not the date of we retrieving the article. Eh. Last time, kita kena tahu the date when we are retrieving the article. But now, we don't have. We put the date of when the article written, the website written. Okay, in this case, 2020, April 9. And then the name of the page, okay, the name of the site, okay. 
what's the difference between Sasquatch and Bigfoot and then the name of the website how stuff work for example boleh okay. uh, this is the web page okay this is the name of the web page the site the web page and then the name of the site how stuff work okay then we put the url okay this is if we are taken from website and then from newspaper okay the concept is same you put the author the surname okay then the year the name of the article and then the name of the newspaper and page number okay but for asian name for example my name shahri effendi ibrahim we do not have to put my surname ibrahim first okay we put the direct we call it direct uh, name shahri effendi ibrahim we don't have to put bin eh? binti okay just shahri effendi ibrahim if we send it or writing for Malaysian uh, organization. Okay, kalau kita hantar journal for the Malaysian organization, usually for ASEAN name, we put direct format. Syahril Effendi Ibrahim. Mahathir Muhammad. Okay. Uh, Indian name also we put direct. Sami Velu. Okay. But if we send our article to international, usually do, do, they don't accept that. They want inverted, still inverted. For example, my name Ibrahim. We have to put Ibrahim, comma, S dot E. Okay, if we send our journals to international. Okay. Okay, the surname at the back. Boleh eh? For Chinese name, for example, Li Kuan Yu, we put Li is the surname, L-E-E, -E, comma, Kuan Yu, K, and dot Y. Okay. Okay, let's do exercise. Boleh? Ada soalan before kita buat exercise? Ah, Sorry, Tuan. Hmm? Tuan, I just wanted to ask, like hmm? for example, for newspaper hmm. and website just now you've shown, Okay. Uh, how do we cite it in text one? Should we put the author's name or yeah. the uh, uh, the title of the um, news, uh, I mean the title of the newspaper article or the website one? For in-text citation also we have to put the name of the author. Same. The concept is same. We put the author's okay. name, the surname. <laughs> okay, for example, uh, okay. Uh, for example, this website, uh, we put Chandler, comma, 2020 only for in-text citation. For newspaper, by the, comma, 2018. Thank you, Tuan. Okay. Welcome. Okay. Ada soalan lain? Ah, jap, ya. How about if casual conversation, how do we do site and referencing? Uh, I'm not sure about this, but you can refer more on the reference here. Okay, before because these sources provide more than just the four format I provide. Okay, I put in in our chatting. I'm sorry, I cannot answer your question. Okay, I I put in our chatting the references. You may refer to these references for details other maybe encyclopedia okay conversation interview you can refer to these sources okay they will usually they will provide in details okay okay and chen i okay okay let's go okay let's do exercise Okay, uh, this is journals, right? Article journal. Okay, how to cite it for reference? 
first we put the author's name for Lewis Michel we put it as can I get respond from you from any of you Lewis Michel what is the way to cite in reference uh, so I try so, yeah Michel okay. uh, comma yeah then uh, L dot correct okay uh, Michel yeah. comma L then, then uh, Huchen, comma, Z. Z, uh, correct. Okay, yeah. and then we put M percent. All right. Okay, so this M percent symbol. When we key in this, in the mm -hmm. reference, in the mm -hmm. Microsoft Word, when we mm -hmm. click the uh, reference, there's two columns. One is author, one is corporate author. So which column that we should key in this name? If there is author only, we put uh, the name of the author. We don't have to put the corporate author. Corporate author is for article did not have individual author. Okay, for example, company report. Okay, we put corporate author. Okay. Okay, then we put the name, uh, the year of the publication. Here we can see it, 2018. And okay, then the name of the title, uh, the the article, okay. Predictors of problematic smartphone use and examination. Okay, but we can see here, this is title for sentence. We call it title sentence. <coughs> Sorry. Because each of the word in capital letters okay but in citation in our referencing we put in sentence format the first letter only capital and after the colon okay the rest is a small letter not capital letter is it okay suddenly quiet boleh eh? Boleh. Okay, thank you. Boleh. Okay, I takut I disconnect. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. This is called sen uh, sentence. What is called sentence? Title sentence. Okay, title sentence. Capital letter and then after uh, capital letter at the first and after the colon only. And this is called title sentence in the title of the journal. Okay, then the name of the journal, title of the journal, behavioral sign, we put title sentence format. And then the issue, uh, sorry, the volume, and then the issue. And then the page number, and then the DOI. Okay. Like this. Okay, the name of the the title of the journal will be in italic and then the volume number also in italic bracket this is not italic okay ada soalan okay i proceed there's uh, additional notes here for latest edition in seven edition we are not using gender neutral pronouns some okay now they are using they nanti bila you all baca the pronouns refer to they that's mean the author satu ke dua author pun they orang refer to they they don't want gender bias okay for this APA 7 edition okay just for your information lah if you want to refer also to the author you use they not he or she and then for abbreviation, okay, for first sentence, first instant. For example, menurut Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi, okay, bracket KPM 2029, dasar pendidikan negara telah dirancangkan untuk lima tahun yang akan datang, for example. Okay, then for first instant untuk parenthetical format, um, okay, blah, 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 and then bracket Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi, square bracket KPM comma 2021 then after the next sentence okay after 
then we call it subsequent instant kalau kita use narrative menurut KPM 2021 okay we don't have to put the full name of Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi anymore okay menurut KPM 2021 lagi bla 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 oh this one not narrative for parenthetical format okay for subsequent instant pun bracket KPM boleh ya eh? for abbreviation Okay, for first instant je. Kalau first time we mention in our text, we put the full name Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi. Oh, should be KPT ya. Eh? Uh, KPT. Okay, 2021. After that, subsequent instant, we just put the abbreviation. Okay, menurut KPT 2021. Okay. And then the third additional notes here, uh, citing multiple works in same authors. And same citation. Okay, several report, several study report uh, that online purchasing behavior has been practiced among youth since uh, CMO, for example. So many people, many author discuss on the same matter, uh, same same point. So we put bracket Sommer and Gary, 1999. We arrange by the year. Okay, the earliest one will be the first. Okay, 1999. Okay, uh, semicolon, Geith and Rohma, 25. Jim and Son, 27. Okay, we arrange by year. Okay, the earliest will be first. Okay, listed alphabetically by author, separate each citation within with a semicolon. Okay, boleh ya? Kalau same point but different sources okay but in the sources uh, reference list at the back kena ada tiga tiga line lah Soma and Gary uh, apa dia punya tajuk buku Geith and Bromer for example what is the name of the article and Jim and Son okay okay boleh okay let's do quiz boleh eh? do quiz together. Ada soalan before kita buat quiz? Tak ada eh? Okay kita buat quiz sama-sama. Kita jawab sama-sama. Hopefully. Okay this is from Victoria University Melbourne. Okay library. Okay kita buat sama-sama eh. Anyone can assist me. Okay, what is the correct reference format for a book? Okay, reference format should be at the back of the writing, our academic writing. Okay, should be the surname first. Winberg, comma, RS. And this should be okay. Okay, M percent. Second author, year. Foundation of Sport Exercise Psychology, 6th edition. There is no publication name publisher name uh, should be wrong okay the second one human kinetics champagne illinois this is the place of publication okay in latest edition sepatutnya tak ada place of publication okay ni pun sama champagne illinois pun place of publication human kinetic ni betul sebab nama of the publisher Okay, so the last, this one should be the correct name, the correct citation. Okay, Winberg RS, Foundation of Sport and Exercise, the name of the book, 6th edition, and then this is the name of the publisher. Publish. Okay, publisher. We don't have to put the location of the publisher. Okay. Okay, number 2, senang je. Boleh siapa jawab? What is the correct author? And year format for a journal article in a reference list. Anyone can volunteer? The first one. First one, yeah. Brill JB. Yes. Okay. Uh, this it should be. Okay. Brill, JB 2011. Okay. The third one. What is the correct reference format for a web document? 
Okay, the name of the author, goal M, the year, the name of the web page, uh, the site, the web page, and then the URL. Okay, here. Okay, we don't have to put retrieve from or view at bila tak perlu. Okay. Okay, what is the correct in-text reference format for a direct quotes? And for the direct quotes, we have to put the page number. Okay, A, B, it's okay. Ini pun sama. We have to put the what, inverted comma, right? Okay, using... Okay, should be C, right? Setuju tak? Yes, C. Uh, this is narrative or parenthetical? Narrative satisfaction. Narrative. Mm, yeah, betul. Okay, vid and code. Okay, narrative citation. Okay, kalau parenthetical, dia dekat author's name dalam bracket. Okay, and the last one. The reference list is arranged in order in which resources are cited in your assignment. False. Ah, uh, False, okay. Okay, it should be arranged alphabetically based on the name of the author. Okay, submit. Let's see. Okay, five over five. Okay, semua betul. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, dah tak ada soalan ke daripada sesiapa? Ada apa-apa lagi nak tanya tentang yeah. library or about OUM Graduate Center or about your studies, you may uh, ni lah, unmute and ask. Yes, good morning Encik Sharia. Yeah, I, um, your session is very beneficial today but uh, for us who attend your session today, will are we going to get a recording of what you have uh, uh, given us today? Yes. Miss Suzy, can? Uh, yes, uh, all students can uh, look at uh, the recording dalam survival guide. Dalam survival guide, you will have this. Uh, but it, uh, it, it will be uploaded uh, maybe by Tuesday. By Tuesday in the survival guide. Yeah. All right, thank yes. you very much. This session is very good, uh, Encik Sharyo. Thank you, Miss Rosaline. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, this is like a light pre prerequisite. Okay, next week we will have a Mandele by Mr. Lokman, Cik Lokman. So if you have this knowledge, it's, it's better for you. Okay, if you did not know about APA, it will be difficult for you to understand how to use the Mandele. Thank you. Ah, Cik Lokman pun ada kat dalam tu. So, okay, Cik Lokman boleh. Cik Lokman, ada apa-apa uh, apa nak intro Cik Lokman? Sila. Oh. oh, ok, 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 Cik Lokman dalam kelas. Alright, so untuk yang ingin mengetahui tentang Mandalay pula, so jangan lupa pada 6 hari bulan 8 uh, akan ada sesi bersama dengan Cik Muhammad Lokman Abdullah. Dari, uh, uh, untuk uh, link dia boleh tengok seperti biasa dekat dalam uh, OUM Graduate Center Facebook ataupun melalui Telegram OUM Graduate Center. So is there any other question? Anything about anything? Okay, for reference tu, I put in the chatting. Okay, you can refer there for itulah yang ada format lah, macam lecture, format, YouTube. Okay, you can refer to, to those reference list. So, untuk 6 hari bulan 8 ini, kita akan ada dua online event daripada OEM Gadget Center. Di mana pagi kita akan uh, ada bersama dengan Encik Lokman berkenaan dengan uh, Mendeley dan pada sebelah petangnya kita akan ada sesi bersama uh, untuk SPSS so pada sesiapa yang uh, berminat untuk mengetahui tentang SPSS uh, boleh uh, sertai event itu pada dua suku petang 
bersama dengan Dr. Rosha Fiza Hassan, uh, one of our lecturer. So please join, pagi ada dengan Cik Lokman, petang dengan Dr. Rosha Fiza ya. So untuk pelajar-pelajar OUM, OUM Graduate Center juga, uh, diingatkan lagi sekali, uh, pendaftaran untuk semester September telah dibuka. So jangan lupa untuk membuat pendaftaran dan juga untuk membuat bayaran pendahuluan RM1,000. So ini ada question, Cik Syaril ada apa-apa lagi nak tambah? Uh, setakat ni tak ada Cik Suzy. Saya nak nak tanya ada satu oh, soalan. Boleh. Kalau boleh. Uh, katakanlah kita menda, uh, interview orang, interview orang uh, uh, untuk dapat maklumat melalui kita temu bual dia kan. Jadi macam mana kita nak tulis uh, rujukan hasil uh, temu bual kita tu? Rujukan hasil. Hmm, maaf saya tidak pasti kan Encik um, Umu Ayush Tapi boleh rujuk dekat link yang saya bagi tu Sebab dia bagi letter uh, format yang pelbagai lah Termasuk interview Okay boleh rujuk kepada sisi tu Okay 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 So diharap para pelajar UM please uh, gunakan Khidmat yang disediakan di OUM Library, Digital Library Kalau untuk mencari search sebarang jurnal artikel ataupun apa-apa Tolong gunakan uh, platform yang disediakan kerana banyak uh, apa, kelebihan benefit yang ada dekat dalam OUM Library So Cik uh, Syarif tak ada apa-apa lagi kita uh, boleh ah, yeah. Tak ada, tak ada Okay So disebabkan also that there is no question from others So kita tamatkan uh, event kita pada pagi ni Terima kasih kerana sudi meluangkan masa untuk join Dan uh, semoga kita jumpa lagi di masa akan datang uh, Encik Syarif terima kasih banyak-banyak atas penerangan yang diberikan InsyaAllah kita akan berkolaborasi lagi pada masa akan datang seperti biasa Alright terima kasih selamat berhujung minggu Terima kasih minggu. thank you semua Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.